What is up guys, my name is Harry Rice, welcome back to the channel, and today we have another episode of the Habs News and Rumors Report. I don't know how I almost messed up the name there, it doesn't matter, we're going to get right into the episode with our first topic. Michael McCarron, as you can see, has re-signed with the Montreal Canadiens, it's a one-year two-way deal, he'll be earning $700,000 in the NHL, $125,000 in the AHL, I honestly can't see McCarron coming up too often this year I can see him playing a couple games here and there if more than one people more than one person is injured but I think he's gonna be spending the rest of the year or majority of the year at least in the American Hockey League I think he'll get a chance to show himself in the preseason but in terms of the regular season I don't think he'll be playing that often but when he does I think he'll be doing good I think he'll play well enough for someone that's out and they need some a heavy like McCarran to come in and Play play a good job, play a good rough game for uh, for the Habs. This segment is just messing messed up. It's it's 3 p.m. and I'm talking like this. This video is not gonna go good, is it? Michael McCarron, I like the signing, but eh, I, I don't think he'll be playing too often in the NHL. Next up, uh, a anti-Russian bias. Um, former Montreal Canadian Nikita Sherback has come out and said there was an anti-Russian player bias in the Habs locker room since he was allegedly not allowed to speak Russian when the other players were allowed to speak French, of course also speaking English. Honestly, I can't see there being a, a French, uh, or excuse me, a Russian bias, or an anti-Russian bias in the Habs locker room. Yes, we got rid of Andre Markov, but because he was 36 and we were trying to get younger, ignoring Weber, he'll be coming up in a minute. But we got rid of Markov. He wanted two years. We wanted to give him one, um, and we just we didn't really want to keep him. Of course, he may be returning to the Habs this year if last year's report is true. Alexi Emelin. He wasn't doing that well with us, or at least I found he wasn't doing that well with us. We exposed him in the Vegas expansion draft. He got picked by them and then swapped to, I want to say, Nashville for a pick or two. So, yeah, and then Sherback, he didn't play that well for us either, so we got rid of him. I saw some people in the comments of the post that I saw this on. I apologize because I can't link it. I didn't. I don't remember what it was. But I saw people saying it's because he's he wasn't that great of a player that he wants to do this. I can't see that. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it could be. I just don't think there is an anti-Russian bias. I think it was most likely done so all the players could understand each other, speaking English and French. I understand that, yes, both, both Markov and Emelin both spoke Russian along with Nikita Sherbak. But just speak English or French, that, that works out for everyone Everyone in the locker room. You understand English or French, most likely English, because I'm sure most of them understand English, most of them French as well, but I don't think there's an anti-Russian bias in the Habs locker room. Next up, as you can see, Weber to Seattle. Now, this obviously isn't a trade that happened because Seattle doesn't have anything to trade, besides draft picks, arguably, but, but... With the expansion draft coming in two years, the Seattle expansion draft, is it possible we could see Shea Weber left exposed? There was a listicle written by Ken Campbell that, um, I want to say was last word on Habs, I, I believe it's something like that. They made a rumors, uh, they made one of their free agent rumors, and the, that was on there, that Weber could possibly be left exposed, and that, that piqued my interest. He'll be 36 by then. Four years left on his contract, so taking him past his 40th birthday, he'll have an AAV of 7.5 million. Personally, while yes, I love Shea Weber, he's a great Montreal Canadiens player, I personally think it'd be best if we leave him unexposed and let Seattle pick him up, even if we have to give up a draft pick or two. I'd argue maybe even a first and a third if we have to do that to get rid of Weber. Because it frees up 7.5 mil, and in two years... Who knows who we have? Who will have left to sign? Because this coming season, we're gonna have Koke and Emmy. We're gonna have Domi. We're gonna have Paling. Uh, just right off the top of my head, we might even have Tatar, but I'm not sure about him. And we right now have four million dollars in cap space with Carl Alsner, 
to well, I'll be taking up four four million. Weber's taking up seven point five. Price is taking up ten point five. That's twenty one million for three players, and only two of which are in the NHL. Only one of which is playing fantastic. That being Carey Price, of course, and one of them nearing the mid thirties. Weber, of course. I think Price might be as well, but he's not showing it. I think he's only nearing 32 or 33. Weber to Seattle, I think it'd be best to get rid of Weber, honestly. If we can sign some younger players because we get rid of Shea Weber and expose him in the expansion draft, I'd say go for it. I'd say it's it's good if you if you do that. So Weber to Seattle, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't mind that. I'd be fine with that personally. Next up. Not much news. It's the end of July. There's not going to be much news going on. So I might postpone the series and do more non-Habs videos as I did with the Blu-ray DVD update. I actually want to start doing collection videos and review videos. I've actually had filmed my DVD and Blu-ray collection video for, I want to say, a good month now. I just didn't post it yet because I haven't, I haven't really... I wanted to do it again because of the updated, because I've gotten more since the, um, since the update I did, uh, or I've gotten, yeah, I've gotten new, or more DVDs since then, so, uh, I also have video game collection videos, that big tub of, uh, it was mostly games, this is PS2 games, I even have PS2 games in my room, or my, my bedroom, and so I'm thinking I start moving the channel away from Habs content during the summer and possibly even during the regular season as well if I want to mix the two. But for the summer, I'm thinking I move away from Habs content unless there's news like uh, a signing. But considering the Habs have all their players locked up for this season, I think the only news that could really come out is if Markov signs with us, if there's a trade, or if a player comes out with evidence and is suing the Habs, which I'm not covering that current lawsuit going on, which I think is for the Habs. It might be for another team, but I'm pretty sure it's for the Habs. I know it's a it's a ice former ice ice rink person suing the Habs. I just remembered. So yeah, I'm probably gonna move away towards uh, Habs content and move more towards movies and gaming content, as is in my channel banner. If you've seen that, um, I love the Habs, of course. But during the summer, there's not much news, so I think I'm gonna do more DVD and game videos during the or movie and game videos. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I actually have a couple videos that I have filmed. I just need to edit them and get them ready for posting, including a let's play. The first part is gonna be close to an hour long <laughs> because this game is super addicting, and I really want to record the second and third parts tonight if I can as of recording this Monday hopefully it's going up the same day as long as my software doesn't mess up on me again so yeah not much news sorry I guess let me know in the comments below if what you guys want to see more of DVD games Habs videos what you what do you want me to see I, I don't want to turn to the hockey guy where I just do uh, history and player videos I love the hockey guy I love him I watch him every day but I don't want to turn into a ripoff of the hockey guy at all. I want to be my own. I want to be Harry Rice. So let me know what you guys want in the comments below. Habs videos, DB movie videos, game videos. Let me know, please. And in our final bit of news, sort of, for the day, we got the Alsner update because I love to pick on Carl Alsner. He's unlikely to be traded or bought out right now. It seems he'll be playing in the American Hockey League for this coming season. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share, everything, which includes buttons not limited to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and everything else. My name is Harry Rice. Subscribe to join the Puff Club today. If you want to see more more content like the Habs, DVDs, or movies, or games like I just mentioned, subscribe. Turn on the bell for notifications. Enable Chrome or Firefox or whatever you're using to show notifications because recently I, I've been getting every notification that I have the bell on for so go ahead and do that please uh well actually it's probably it's down there somewhere um yeah my name is Harris please subscribe I'm out peace